So one of my favorite drills to improve your downswing and to get the feel of what the club head is doing is all of the weight is in front of the shaft. So it's all out here, which means that as I swing the club, if I just hold it with my thumb and pointer, the moment I move the club back to the right, the club is opening a little. If I move the club back down to the left, the club is closing a little. That's not my wrist and arm manipulating the club. That's purely the weight of the club turning it. What I see a lot of golfers do is when they're swinging the club, they apply the brake on the left hand. The moment that left hand increases in its grip tension, the club face opens and the ball goes to the right. So we've actually got to try and get used to the feel of letting the club weight open and close. It's not us manipulating it. It's just letting it. So I like people just to grip it lightly. And if you grip it light enough, you can feel the weight of the club in the head. So you just do a few swings like I'm doing now quite easily. We can add a little bit of a, a ground strike sweeping the grass. We're not taking massive divots. There's a little depression here, which is why it's stopping. But that's the feeling you want to have. Then you get two hands on the club and then it's just feeling the weight. If I grip it tight, I can't feel the weight of the club. I feel that, but I want to feel that. And from there, we just introduce the golf ball to it and we just go a little half swing and we just feel the weight of the club. So what we're looking for is that when we swing, we're trying to maintain whatever width we have in the backswing through to the downswing. So there's a gap there. What I see a lot of golfers do is they get back here quite okay, but on the way down, they cramp up the left arm. And we don't want to cramp up the left arm. We almost want to let go. So if I had a head cover, in fact, I can use my hat when I'm, so the, the hat's under my left arm, when I follow through, I actually want the hat to fall out. If I keep the hat in, so I'll do it this way. So if I keep the hat tucked into my left side, that's gonna make this happen, which is the dreaded chicken wing. We actually want to let go. So I want that hat to fall out then I'm getting good proper extension through the golf shot, which is going to allow me first to make crisper contact. It's going to give me a little bit more distance, but without any extra effort. So that's a good, simple little drill that you can practice. You can do it at home in the backyard with some plastic balls and just practice the weight of the club. I love the one hand drill and you can feel just with one hand, you can feel the weight of the club doing it for you.